Hello, welcome back to another 1000 Mon Beers. You must try before you die. Um, it is a nice kind of warmish summer's day outside. So I'm doing a winter beer, of course. Of course I'm doing a winter beer. Um, strong winter beer. So this is probably inappropriate for the season, but these will need to be reviewed, so it's going down. It's from Belgium, of course it is. First brewed 1998, it's 10%, of course it is. And it's nice shoof. Uh, I have chilled it. It's supposed to be chilled, so that's fine. Uh, it's, so it's 10%. I'm going to drink this really, really slowly. Uh, this will be something I'll sit throughout the afternoon, eh? So it's got uh, the little sheaf type characters here. They are uh, holding hops, and there's next to a fire, there's some Christmas trees and pine trees in the back there. Um, I'm sure this will be lovely in the winter, but I'm having it in the summer because I like to mix it up. So, tasting notes. A deep reddish brown beer with a yellowy head and a slight detergent note. Detergent note? Mm. On a fruit, nut and herb aroma. The generous honey sweet palate has subtle herbs and then more nuts with chewy fruit and burned sugar on a warming sweetest finish. Okay, well, let's see how we go. I think this might be too sweet for my liking, but let's give it a go. I do like quite like a winter beer. I think this will be the last sheaf beer I need to review. I think I've done the other three in the book, so uh, I have no idea if this is bottle condition or not. I'll leave a little bit at the bottom just in case it is. Okay, so um, it's a kind of yellowy head, kind of more brown, I'd say actually. It's very red coloured, very fizzy, not dark. Let's go for the smell. It's not actually a huge amount on the nose, I'll be honest. It's kind of some spice on the nose, a bit of malt maybe. Hmm. Okay, so let's so sit there for a minute. If I'm these really strong beers, let them just sit there for a bit, makes them taste nicer. Um, there's a lot of the carbonation stuff comes out a little bit. So it is um, brewed with Belgian pills and malt, dark candy sugar, hmm, and tomahawk, styrian, golding, and Czech sars hops. Also flavoured with spices, including bitter orange peel and thyme, and it is bottle conditioned. So I'm glad I left that bit in there. I almost certainly was going to be bottle conditioned. Um, okay, well, let's see whether it has a generous honey sweet palate. I really hope it's not too sweet. Cheers. It is quite sweet, I'll be honest, um, but it's not cloyingly sweet. It has got that, you're right, it has got a honey sweetness, which I don't find cloying. It's not sugar sweetness. That is quite pleasant, actually. I can see why this worked really well in the winter. It's very spicy. Don't get too much herbs on it. It's very malty. There are some hops. It's just got this... It's quite smooth, um, it's very boozy, I can taste the alcohol. Um, kind of, yes, I think the overriding taste is spice, I'm getting that spice in the, in the back of my throat on the aftertaste, um, which isn't unpleasant at all, they taste like winter spices. Um, I can taste it's obviously using dark sugar, um, bitter orange peel, yeah, I get a bit of that. Uh, definitely, it's just... It's basically quite a spicy beer, not a chilli beer, and not as in like they were someone's added artificial chilli. This basically tastes quite naturally spicy, but it's really boozy. I'm really, really, it's got a very strong aftertaste. It really sticks in your throat and you can feel it warming the rest of your body. Um, so I could see how this could work as a really good winter beer. Um, out there. Uh, uh, you can see the little sheafs, little naughty sheafs there. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's just a bit strong. <laughs> um, this would be a great sharing beer. I will drink the rest of this, but I'm going to go away and watch a DVD and, and, and what, drink this, sip it really, really slowly because I just can't. I have one more sip on the review, but it's very strong. Yeah, it's very strong, but it's nice. It's really, it's quite tasty. So I'm quite pleased with this. I'm glad I've had it. I will. I think I would like to. If I see this again, 
I'll buy a bottle in the winter and share it with someone. I think that'll be a nice thing to do because um, it is a very, very nice beer. Uh, or get two of them and have one each and sip them slowly over an evening. Um, maybe with the fire roaring away, that might be quite pleasant. So I'll leave it there. Um, have you had this beer before? I'm sure if you're a fan of the Schuth beers, you probably had it before. Uh, so like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you for another beer review soon. Cheers.